Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again for yet another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. And yes, the world of beer is truly wonderful, even in these dark, dark times. Anyhow, again, I'm uh, having a look at a brew that Hugh of Hef's Beer Reviews was kind enough to send me. My first beer mail since uh, getting the P.O. box. Anyway, um, it's from Five Barrel Brewing again. It's their Little Nipper Hazy IPA, which is 5.8% uh, ABV. Yeah, <laughs> a real ABV. 1.7 standard drinks. Anyway, this 375ml uh, can of uh, Little Nipper Hazy IPA has been uh, sitting in the fridge for uh, a while now, getting nice and cold. Let's uh, crack open the can. Wow, some nice smoke there again. And pour it out. Do the speak allow glass? Okay. Okay. Look it back down. Let's go look at that. Ooh. It's hazy, alright. Yeah. Yeah, hazy. Golden colour, yeah, it's bordering on yellow rather than uh, orange. Mm. Yeah, a light straw, so colour almost. Yeah, it looks even lighter when you hold it up to the light. Mm. And over three fingers of a uh, bright white, fluffy looking head. Let's check out the aroma. Ooh. There's a yeah subtle smell there of um, you know citrus, you know tropical fruits. It's actually not as powerful as the aroma of that uh, pale ale that I had before the free fall pale ale. Interestingly, anyway, time for the taste test. A huge cheers to you, Hugh. So shines a good deed in a weary world. <laughs> I was about to say wicked world, which would have been true, but obviously that's not the quote. <laughs> All right, and cheers to you, the audience. Wow. Yeah, that sure has some zing to it. Not getting much malt present. Um, yeah, very, very fruity, very fruit juice like, in fact, um, this one. Mm. It even has um, almost like an orange juice sort of uh, aftertaste uh, to it as well. Mm. Let's have another gulp. It's holding that taste profile, but still it goes down quite smooth. And look how nicely it's uh, lacing this glass. Yeah, very pretty. Mm. All right, so the body, I guess, is uh, somewhere between medium and full, leaning towards full. It's drinkable, but at 5.8%, well, you could probably have a few of these and feel quite uh, pleasantly uh, toasted. Uh, as I uh, often say, I'm enjoying this um, a lot, but probably because I very rarely ever um, have this uh, style, you know, the hazy uh, IPA. So, you know, for me, it's a real treat. Yeah. Mm. Definitely uh, breaks the monotony a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's something I would drink every day, though, but. Um, you know, I mean, uh, as a treat every now and then, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's worth your while, I suppose. Yeah. I might just top this uh, up. All right. Well, once again, Hugh, I think you've uh, done quite well here, and, and five uh, barrel brewing. Um, <laughs> they deserve some credit too. They uh, obviously brewed the beer. 
Anyway, uh, let's have one final gulp and uh, give it a score out of 10. Yeah, um, I have to admit it's, it's quite enjoyable and there's nothing I can really fault about it uh, flavour-wise. Um, you know, it's got a nice ABV, yeah. Um, or fun factor, as uh, a friend of mine, uh, <laughs> yeah, always referred to it uh, as. Uh, yeah, I'd probably give this one an 8.5 out of 10, yeah. Not something I drink all the time, but you know, for every now and then, yeah, a nice treat, yeah. All right, well, uh, thanks for joining me uh, once again, folks, and thank you, Hugh, for sending this. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to kick back and enjoy the rest of this brew, and uh, I'll see you all in the next review. But uh, until then, fare thee well, all. <laughs>